Okay, so episode I'm an asshole number 513, I think. Um, so I don't know if you watched that other video, um, Q Patsy, but, um, oh, I guess I just realized why that, I, I, I already know, but anyway, um, so, uh, I was talking in that video about how I'm not mean, how I'm not mean, and, um, I have to say that that's not true. As much as I'd like to believe it's true, it's not true. I'm not fucking perfect. I don't know who the fuck I'm kidding. Um, 99.9% of the time I am not mean. (laughs) Um, but that 0.01% is really fucking big. (laughs) And it involves an entire generation. And I have no tolerance for people that I perceive to be baby boomers. (laughs) Like, I don't. I don't. These people ruin the fucking planet. They ruin the whole fucking planet. And all the fucking people on it. That's your fucking generation of vipers. And, um... I, uh... I have been in some niche... Uh... You know... Zones, I don't know what, on TikTok. And, um... So I find myself... You know, because I'm 47 years old. I was born in 1974. So, save you the math. Um, And, uh... This is fucking crazy. Oh my god. Down to the numbers. But anyways. Oh my. Yeah, we're having a major... We're having a major, uh... Event here right now, actually. Um, wow, so, um, a lot of times when I cry, if it's something like, where I learn something really important, or the truth, um, my nose will bleed a little bit, it's really interesting, but my nose is bleeding right now, I think because, you know what it is, it's a fucking angry truth, it's when that anger makes me fucking have to speak my truth, and so, um, anyways, like, I did speak my truth, in anger and um vroom vroom that little bitch algal um will deliver you Just the test. Just the test to see. Just the test. Just the test to see. Oh, did you say that out loud? Let me give you a test. Let me show you something. Right? Let me show you. You. I don't spend a lot of time with demons like this. I don't, I don't, um, I don't call them to me. I don't ask them to come to me. Though I do spend a lot of time sometimes with them because this is, we all do. Uh, so I don't even usually call them out by name, you know? But this one, this one, this one specifically. For this event, right? So, you know, I could have made a video and I could have made a point based on what this guy was saying, but I, I, because I'm an asshole, (laughs) and for no other reason, I'm not, 
I'm not blaming this on anybody. I'm an asshole. I judged this guy on his looks, which I should not have. Here come the sirens. And I pegged him because of what he was saying and the way he was saying it, I pegged him as a boomer. And he was not a boomer. And he wasn't even saying the fucking thing the way I thought he was saying it. At least I didn't need to take it the way that I did. There goes another one. That's the actual fire truck, so at least it's not an OD. Um... Hopefully everybody's okay. Um, so, I, uh, yeah, I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. I think I'm not mean. I'm mean. I think I perceive everything in the way that it is actually, and I don't. Um, why is that? What is that a result of? Um, I could give you a, a bunch of reasons, and some of them you would think are valid, and some of them you would think are crazy, right? But at the end of the day, I'm the one over here fucking responding, right? <laughs> I didn't need to get petty. I didn't need to call the guy a fucking boomer. Why'd I have to do that? Then the whole argument became about uh, him being a boomer and not about the fucking point is that, and this is the, and the fucked up thing about it, and it's so funny, but the fucked up thing about it is that, like, I basically proved his point, you know what I mean? You can't just, like, <clears throat> go saying shit to somebody and, you know, you gotta, like, watch what you say to people because you never know who the fuck you're gonna say the wrong thing to. And somebody's going to take out shit that they've been holding in forever. And my take on it was, I fucking hate those people. And then guess what? What did I, what did I even do? I fucking, I duetted that dude and I went off on fucking boomer entitlement to fucking think they can go around and fucking just, you know, pop off on anybody. <laughs> Anybody understands how hard it is to be the child of fucking boomers, man. I don't think anybody understands, like, how bad we were fucking gaslit, how much we were fucking lied to, like, how much we were made to feel like we didn't matter, and how we were to blame for every fucking thing, and we were just, like, there, like, like, with their stuff. You know, or just like some other stuff, like a fucking, like fish, or a fucking hamster or something. You know, I don't know, but and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I apologize to him. I made a stitch and all this, but I'm just I'm an asshole. You know, I'm an asshole. And uh, let that not be. Uh, just, you know, I don't think I'm perfect. I don't think I'm perfect. I try really fucking hard because I try to, I want, because it's about who I want to be as a person and how I want to feel inside. And being mean to people doesn't feel good to me. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel good. I don't like it. I know it's not right. So if I'm going to be the best person that I can be, like, for my highest self, for my highest good, for the betterment of everybody around me, you know what I mean? Then if I'm holding myself to standards that, like, we all, like, fall short of our standards, you know, sometimes. And um, that doesn't mean that we failed, right? It just means that we messed up right and then if we take responsibility for it like as soon as we can as soon as we realize 
right? Isn't that like, then that's good, right? That's good. That's good. That's work, right? That's the work. That's the work, right? I think so. I think so. And the guy was like totally cool, you know? <laughs> and he accepted my apology. So, that's good, you know? It feels good to take responsibility. Um, for when you fuck up, you know? When you, when you, when your judgment, when you're fucking initial judgment is off when you're like not in the right place to like receive some information or some communication and you just like make a judgment you know it's good when you realize to like take responsibility for that especially if you're mean you know because it didn't even have to go that way could have just been about what it was about you know so, but there's healing, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't like, expect him to, like, follow me or anything. <laughs> but there's no bad feelings, you know? So that's good. So, uh, so yeah, I hope your Saturday is going well. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some stuff now. I should probably drink some water. Ah. Okay. All right. Well, I love you guys. Have an awesome day.